Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I'll show you a 10 minute routine to do the Pakoti method. So if you haven't heard of the Pakoti method, it's the Ayurvedic practice of putting oils into your belly button. So why the belly button? The belly button is a very important reflexology point in East Asian medicine that connects to all of the organs around your abdomen. Because if you think about it, your belly button is literally the center of your body that is in the middle of all of your major organs. So did you know that behind the belly button, there's a gland called the Pakoti gland. So an Ayurvedic practice, putting oils into your belly button makes the oils get absorbed by the belly button, which contains over 72,000 veins. So all of that oil travels to your bloodstream and in Ayurvedic practice, it's said that the Pakoti method helps alleviate cramps, indigestion, infertility, all the things that are associated with your gut. So in this video, I'm gonna combine the Pakoti method with a practice in brain education of massaging the gut, which is belly button healing. So with Pakoti method and belly button healing, let's bring double the healing into our gut. So if this is something new for you, great. I'm so excited to share. And if you've done Pakoti method, try adding belly button healing to your practice of Pakoti method to enhance the benefits. So to do the Pakoti method, you need two things. One is essential oil. You can use your favorite essential oil that you have, or if you need a recommendation, I'm using the sh second chakra oil from Change Your Energy Shop, which I will link in the description below. So this oil, and then next you need a belly button healing tool. So if you don't have one of these, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get one. So with these two things in your arsenal, you want to lie down, get your essential oil. I recommend rolling up your clothing so you don't drench your shirt with the oil and stain it. So get the oil. in place a few drops in your belly button i recommend just doing five drops you don't want to overflow your belly button so you have oils dripping down everywhere so just enough so that there's a little bit in there five drops is good and then with your belly button healing tool instead of stimulating directly on the belly button stimulate a little bit below so know that the oils in your belly button are being absorbed by your belly button now. And then with the absorption, we're going to add a little gentle massage. So as you lie there, relax your body, relax your shoulders. Most importantly, don't tense up your shoulders. Relax your shoulders, relax your legs, and gently massage. <sighs> As you massage with belly button healing, it moves a lot of toxins that we hold in our guts. It stimulates sluggish intestines to move your fecal matter, your waste along in your gut. So it's a double whammy here. The oil is being absorbed in your belly button. At the same time, you're massaging your gut so that all the good oils get into your bloodstream much faster, more effectively. So stay here and make sure you're breathing. Take good deep breaths into your body and exhale out. Keep breathing in and out, relaxing your abdomen more and more with each exhale. <sighs> now a tip is when you do belly button healing, you want to make sure that you're pressing very gently. 
So you're not stabbing yourself. You're pressing it gently in and out. Imagine you are doing CPR for your gut. Gentle in and out, in and out. Shoulders relaxed. Legs relax, abdomen relax. Gently close your eyes too to relax your brain. <sighs> Continue breathing out. I also recommend relaxing your jaw. Don't clamp your jaw, relax your jaw. <sighs> Feel your abdomen. Now at this point, if your body is receiving the stimulation well, you might feel the need to pass gas, whether it's through burping or farting. Whatever you need to do is okay, just let it out because you don't want to hold in whatever your body's trying to let go of. So just keep relaxing your body. Know that everything you feel is a part of the elimination and detoxing process. Just relax and let whatever happened in your body happen. <sighs> Breathe in. And out. <sighs> So now if you're very sensitive to energy, you might feel coldness in your hands or legs and feet, or you might feel warmth in your hands, legs and feet. Coldness means stagnant energy is coming out of your body and that process of elimination makes your hands feel cold, legs feel cold, feet feel cold. It's a sign of healing. On the other hand, warmth in your hands, legs, and feet is also a sign of healing. It means your blood is circulating very well in your body. Whatever you feel, there's no good or bad. Just feel your body and relax. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale. And stop. Now gently place your tool beside you. And whatever oil you have left in your belly button, massage it in. Massage it into your belly button and around your belly button. And once you've massaged the oils in your belly button, know that even though your belly button didn't absorb all of the oils, because it takes a long time for your belly button to absorb all the oils, know that if you massage it around it, massage the oils around your belly button, your skin also absorbs the oils. So you'll have similar benefits. So massage it all in. And then when it's all in, roll your shirt down, turn your body to the side and sit up. How'd you do? How do you feel? Does your abdomen feel a little bit more relaxed? Or maybe you feel some more gurgling or more uh, tension in your abdomen whatever you feel is okay just keep practicing it and sometimes you may feel some more pain in different areas if you feel pain in different areas you can massage that point too i made another video that shows all of the angles that you could do with belly button healing i'll link that video in the description below so you could reference it as well you did a great job to experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.